Hey there, this is going to be a little tutorial on installing Flame Slater, which is my script for turning CSV files into Flame text setups. For those of you who do lots of spot versioning like I do, and don't like to type in all this stuff when you've got 50 spots to make or something like that. And then additionally, I'll show you how to install, how to build and install XClip, which is a little command line utility that Flame Slater can use to copy all your spot codes onto the clipboard so that you can really easily, when you're making your sequences, duplicate them and then just paste from the clipboard the spot code to rename your, your sequences because it wants to type all that in again. So first, let's start by grabbing a copy of it from my GitHub, uh, which you can find at github.com slash manchicken1911 slash frameslater. And there's two ways you can do this. You can either use Git to clone it uh, or you can click here also and just do this download zip and download a zip file and unzip it somewhere. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and use the git method. So I'm going to click in here, select this whole thing and copy it. And then in a terminal window, uh, I'm just in my own personal home directory. Uh, now I use my own user. If you're using the, f the default flame user, uh, that's going to get mixed in with all your, you know, stuff in opt Autodesk. And I, I don't know if that home directory actually gets wiped out every time you install a new version. Uh, but in any event, you can put this wherever you want. It can be on a shared media drive or anywhere that you've got access to, but I'm just going to do it in my home directory. So I'm going to do git clone, and then I'm going to paste that URL in, and then I want to put it in a directory called flame slater. And there it is. That's all there is to it. And now I can go into my Flame Slater directory, and there's the extent of it. So there is no installation per se besides downloading it. Uh, you can call it, uh, this is the main script here that we'll be using. Uh, and you can call it yourself by doing, you know, PHP, home, Bob M, Flame Slater, Flame Slater.php. Uh, but what I like to do is make a link to it just called Slater and stick it in somewhere that's in my path. Uh, so if I look here at my path, uh, the place I like to do it is in my home directory uh, in a directory called bin, which if you're using bash, the, the shell bash, and again, this is if you're using your own user, uh, that bin directory will be uh, in your path by default anyway. So what I'm gonna do is make a link. So I'll do ln s for a symbolic link. Uh, from my home, Bob M, Flame Slater, Flame Slater.php to home, Bob M, Ben Slater. So now, no matter where I am, if I just go back to my home directory, I can just type Slater and I'll get the program, but we'll go over that later. So the second part of this is XClip. Now, this is a Linux only thing. I'm sure there's other utilities to do this on the Mac, and if someone wants to help me out with that, I'm i uh, be happy to integrate it into the script, but I'm not really a Mac person, so I don't know what software is out there for that. But what XClip allows me to do is from Flame Slater, I can put text into the clipboard. And if you're using Clipper, which is kind of the default KDE clipboard handler, uh, you'll get these little scissors down here. And Flame Slater can put all the spot codes into this list. So instead of you having to type them, as I said at the beginning, you can just click on the spot code that you're doing and then paste that into Flame if you're renaming the sequence or renaming a clip or, you know, whatever. So to get XClip, uh, you can find that on github.com slash A-S-T-R-A-N-D, Astrand, I don't know, uh, slash XClip. And once again there, you can download a zip or use Git. I'm going to go ahead and use git just like I did before. So once again, I'll do git clone. Oops, I think I didn't hit copy. There we go. Uh, I'll whoops, paste that in into xclip. There we go. I'm going to cd into xclip. And then to make this, uh, if you look at this install file, uh, you basically just need to run auto reconf and then that'll make a configure script, which you can run that and then you do make. So I'll do auto reconf. Uh, I'll run the configure script that it made. 
we'll do make and that's it it's pretty small uh, you should already have everything you need if you're running CentOS uh, 7 uh, it might even build correctly on Red Hat I'm not sure but now we have this XClip binary and the way I've got Flame Slater set up is that it'll look for this XClip in the Flame Slater directory uh, so that you don't have to be root or do anything to install it somewhere in particular. So I'm going to back out, go back into my Flame Slater directory, and then I'm just going to copy from XClip, XClip, uh, right into here. And now I've got that binary in here, and I can call it, if you run it, it's a reading from standard input, so I can go barf, control D, and now you'll see on my clip clipboard I've got barf on here. So that's all there is to it. In the next video, I'll show you how to actually use Flameslater.